Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Legrand, and welcome to a special edition of Sun News Today, where we're coming to you from Montreal, Canada. On this edition of Sun News, we're going to take a look at Sun's Java technology and how it's being used in unique ways. Here in Montreal, Java is now being used in some of the city's new parking pay stations. It's saving the city money, is an added convenience for drivers, and is changing the way parking officers do their job. It's a real win for the city of Montreal. On the streets of Montreal, high-tech parking stations are popping up in parts of the city. Traditional parking meters are being replaced with solar-powered pay terminals. It's called the pay-and-go system, where drivers can pay their parking fees at any station, even if their car is parked 10 blocks away. Very useful, because you can move around, and you don't have to come back to your car if you want to put money again in it. So it's easier to stay in town longer. Much more convenient for yeah, you. Yeah, more convenient. The pay-and-go concept is simple. All drivers have to do is punch in the parking spot number, pay the fee, and the payment is processed in real time over a broadband wireless network. Parking officers can tell who's paid their fees using a PDA, which supplies them with real-time information. 8D Technologies, a Montreal-based company, is the brainchild behind these cutting-edge terminals. The map of the street uh, of the city is downloaded on the PDA. So the idea, when it's white, it means that it's paid, the parking space is paid, and when it's red, it's unpaid. So that's all basically that the, uh, the parking officers need to know in order to be able to determine whether time is expired and the car is still there to get a ticket or not. 8D Technology says it couldn't have developed the pay stations without the help of Sun Microsystems. 8D is using Sun's Java technology. Pay stations in Montreal are another example of how Sun's Java technology is helping to improve the lives of consumers. With Java, common tasks like paying a parking meter are no longer a hassle. The openness of the Java programming language makes it a favorite for developers. And moving forward, customers will be seeing more and more services using Java. The city of Montreal says the pay stations are an efficient way to manage the city's parking system. All the real-time information is monitored at a central computer office, where city officials can also give directions to the pay stations with just a click of a button. Since the pay station is intelligent, if we can say so, uh, it'll allow us to give a message to the person that at 3 o'clock paid will tell the machine, they say, look, you pay only for half an hour. At 3.30, you have to move your car because this is a reserve lane. So it'll give them a flexibility to, up, to, all the, to apply different regulation on the street. Right now, the city of Montreal allows drivers to pay their parking fees with cash or by credit card. In the future, the city could make it even easier for drivers by allowing them to pay the fees using their handheld devices. What you have today is payment over the air from the meter to the city of Montreal. So at least they are aware that you did pay your uh, your amount, $2, $4, $10. $10. The next step will be to use the same network but with your phone to be able either to put more money in it or simply to have a transfer of payment between your phone, your SIM or your bank account directly to the meter. The city of Montreal already has 40 parking pay stations in place and it may add another 500 later this year. And word about the pay stations is spreading as other cities around the world have expressed interest in the pay and go concept. And that's going to do it for this special edition of Sun News Today where we're coming to you from Montreal, Canada. I'm Chris Legrand. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time for another edition of Sun News Today.